Hey you guys and welcome to my hashtag Yearathon graphic novel, manga, comic book slash picture book, TBR video. Fun times and such a mouthful, isn't it? I was probably the only one really excited picture, picture book wise, I mean. <laughs> Plus I'll have some books in here that may be stretching that comic thing, I mean that picture book thing. But hey, look, I don't own a lot of comic books, graphic novels, or mangas. Actually, I own comic books. I don't even own the other two. No, I think I own one, like, graphic novel somewhere around here. I could have given it away. I don't know. So this is basically what we got. So, and also I just started pulling off, um, I think towards the end, I'm just probably going to just read short books at that point. I'm really hoping to read a lot during like the first week of December. This is really a goal for me because I know after that, like it's already going to be busy, but yeah, it's going to get even busier along the way. So the first two books that I want to read is A Tiny Book of Tiny Stories, Volume 1 and Volume 3. And I do own Volume 2, but I had read it before and it already counts towards my goal and I recently just got these and I'm so very excited and basically they're just like a page of like stuff like you'll see a picture and then sometimes you'll see the words on the same picture or just on the side and then this one okay so it says everything has a beginning even the end and I think there's like astronauts standing by a black hole so that's interesting um I'm really excited to read it these two. Um, then the next thing that I have is a comic, The Joy of a Peanut Christmas by schools. I don't know, but you know, Charlie Brown people, Charlie Brown. I kind of remember at the last minute that I had these. Um, so I'm really looking forward to reading it because I've been watching like the Thanksgiving special, the Halloween special, and of course, uh, comics. It's been a while. <laughs> Um, and I meant to buy some for this month, but I didn't end up doing it, so just have to go with the one I, I own already. And then I have um, How to Be a Zombie by Serena Valentina. I remember buying this when I bought like a lot of zombie books and stuff, and I thought this was funny and it was cheap and it looked interesting. And it's like, has like Know Your Zombies and has like a zombie card, and then it says, best zombie um board games so you, you see like they have a lot of interesting pictures and plus they have like a few comics in here as well so they have really nice illustrations and everything so i'm looking forward to reading it and then we have one of the books that may be stretching it which is why we broke up by daniel hedler by maria Kalman. I have been wanting to read this book so for so long but I decided and I finally got it like last month so I'm really excited to finally read it and I decided to save it for this month <clears throat> because it had a lot of pictures in it <laughs> and I could just count it towards that and see really beautiful when you take off the cover you see even more illustrations like right when you open it and like you just flip through they just seem they have like a lot of pictures for reasons I guess of why they broke up and stuff so even if they're not that interesting I was like it's a real book but it has a lot of pictures so I'm just gonna put it in my picture book category because that's how I roll <laughs> okay let me live my life <laughs> and then the next book that I have that you guys will see a sneak peek into my Monday book haul is Wonderstruck by Brian Selznick and I already read The Hindvention of Hugo Cabret and I decided to get this since I was kind of low on the picture book theme by itself and I was going to give this one a chance because after all the between the other ones um like the between this one and the Invention of Hugo Cabret I was more interested in this one but I heard lots of great things about this one so I decided to get it too it's about these kids and I guess they live like 50 years apart and their stories are one guy one of the stories is told in words and the other ones in pictures so that will be interesting of course we have colorful illustrations all through the book so i hope it is that good as everyone seems to say it is and then we have even more into stretching the territory is alice's adventures in wonderland by lewis Car carroll and illustrations by 
Camille Rose Garcia and I read her um, Snow White version that one was like really short but I really loved her illustrations in there and like you take off the cover and this is what you see they have a really big A and then we have like pictures like this so um, like that's interesting and oh yeah this didn't come with it I bought this separately but it's like one of my Alice in Wonderland bookmarks it says drink me I'll link down below one of my bookmark hauls that had that showed all the Alice in Adventures ones in there but I haven't actually read this whole book yet I believe I mean when I was younger I believe I read it but since I've become a grown-up and actually bought this book I haven't so yeah fun times uh, the next book has definitely not a picture book it was just short and I don't believe I've read it towards a goal yet so I decided just to pick it up because I want to get like the sequels and stuff and it is stuck in neutral by Terry Truman and this follows this boy who's um what's that word a court he has severe cerebral palsy but he can't talk or whatever but so you're just in his head to see what he thinks of everything and how people perceive him and I know the other books follow like his brother his sibling or whatever so I kind of wanted to reread it just get a sense of feel for it and go from there again I've read it many 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 times before this one but yeah for some reason I don't think I've counted it toward a girl I'm not sure I'm gonna check we'll see um Okay. And then last but not least, I have Amphigori with by Edward Gorey, which is 15 of his books in one. And I did read this before and I counted it. I counted each book separately, but now I can count this as just one book because I have been wanting to reread the books. I really did enjoy it. He had a kind of dark sense of humor, dark comedy. I'm trying to find one of them that was like easy to like kind of um talk about I probably should have did that before this video but um yeah here so like in a regular book it'd be like this page and it says a is for amy who fell down the stairs b is for basil <laughs> assaulted by bears it's like one of my favorite ones by him and in this book in this volume too so I really want to get his other volumes I believe there's like three other ones so yeah that is what I'm going with this um, time around so you guys let me know down below which books are you guys planning to read are you guys gonna read any of these ones or are you actually gonna stick more to the theme um, you guys let me know down below and I will talk to you guys later bye